Hello and thank you for viewing my 2001 WR250F. I bought this bike in 2003. Uh, the original owner rode it one time, had some difficulty starting it due to a prior knee injury, uh, never rode it after that. Um, this bike's been incredibly well maintained for the entire time I've owned it. Regular oil changes with uh, Bell Ray synthetic thumper oil. Um, always been kept clean. Uh, chain and sprockets on it are new. Uh, they have probably less than 20 hours. It's a Renthal O-ring chain, uh, Sunstar steel sprockets, and a TM Design Works chain slider and chain guide uh, were put on all at the same time. At the same time, the swing arm bearings were greased and inspected, uh, rear wheel bearings as well. Everything's been maintained and in good shape. Uh, the fork seals do not leak. The bike's always started easily. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, the normal mods that everyone did to the WRs were to uh, cut the throttle stop that only lets you go to half throttle. That was done when the bike was new. Airbox cover removed for a little better flow. Uh, the baffle was taken out and then re later replaced with a stock YZ exhaust. Uh, also went to a YZ gas tank uh, to allow you to sit a little further forward on the bike. Uh, in 2013, the engine was rebuilt. Uh, had a full rebuild due to a failed crank. Uh, it was weak that year and of course it was replaced with the, the improved part. Um, at the same time piston and rings were replaced. There was no damage to the cylinder so it didn't need honed or anything. Uh, the valves were inspected. Valve seals replaced. The valves have never been out of spec on this bike. Uh, they were checked after the first hundred hours uh, and the second hundred hours and then at the time that the engine was rebuilt and they were all in spec. Uh, I did touch up the, the frame rails where the, the paint rubs off from your boots. Uh, you may want to throw some clear plastic or some frame guides on there if you end up picking up the bike. Uh, it has a Promoto billet shark fin to help prevent from a uh, bent brake rotor. It's had a Utah sports cycle skid plate on it since it was new. Um, headlight, uh, just a factory like headlight. It's a little brighter, has a high and low beam, although I have them both hooked up to run at the same time. Uh, fender from a newer YZ. Uh, also has a set of blue plastics that would come with it. The handguards definitely have some, some wear and abuse to them, but they serve their purpose. Uh, SDG step seat kind of holds you in a little bit. If you wanted to, you could take the cover off and cut the step back a little further for your preferred riding position. Um, let me fire the bike up for you here. This is my second take on the video, so the bike is warmed up, but it should fire right up. You can hear it idle. Usually starts on the first couple kicks when it's cold, uh, first kick once it's warmed up. Sometimes when after you've been riding a lot, you do need to use the hot start lever. Um, clutch is in good shape. Bike shifts fine as it recently had a oil change and the air filter clean. Uh, I'll take it for a ride up the road here so you can hear it run. Well, there it is, and thanks for viewing. Uh, you can find my phone number in the additional description with the pictures on eBay. Uh, any questions, give me a call. I know, every, I know the bike from top to bottom. Thank you, and have a good one. Bye.